Welcome back to learning Revit structure. In this lesson, we'll create wall footings. So before you create a footing, you need to define a wall, a structural wall. Once that wall is defined, we can place our footings at the base of that wall. So right now we have a foundation wall and we have columns drawn within the foundation. This foundation wall goes from the top of the footing level to level one. I can see this by looking at the east elevation. So if I scroll down to elevations, double click east, zoom in to the right side, I can see I have a foundation wall on the very bottom, and then above that, I have a regular generic eight inch wall. So we're going to place our footings below the foundation, which sits below the top of footing level. Let's go back to the TOF level plan view that we were currently looking at. Now to place our footings, let's go to the structure tab, on the Structure tab on the Foundation panel in the middle, click Wall. This will allow us to create a wall footing. Now you have two types of footings loaded by default, bearing footing and retaining footing. The difference is basically where they're used and their type, and how they're justified. The bearing footing is justified in the center, splitting the wall and then drawn. The retaining footing will actually define a toe and a heel as far as how much distance is on one side of your wall and distance on the other side. For this example here, we're using bearing footing. Now with the bearing footing selected, you can actually look at the settings in the properties area below. Here I can change the structural, dimensional, and other elements of this actual footing. You can also put an offset value in or an eccentricity of that actual footing itself. Now, to create the actual footing, all we need to do is select the walls. Mouse over one wall, but don't select it, and then hit the Tab key. This will highlight all of the walls in the chain. With all of the chain walls highlighted, left click. This will then place that structural foundation wall below this current wall. Click Modify in the upper left to end the command. Now to see this foundation wall, let's go down to the east elevation and open it. Double click east. Zoom in to your actual model and you can see this foundation bearing wall has been placed below that structural wall that we were just looking at. So as a review in this lesson, we looked at creating wall footings. We talked about first having a structural wall or a wall currently defined. Then we looked at the two different types of footings we could use. We chose bearing footing selected our walls, and then the structural footing was actually created below the wall that we had selected. We then viewed this in the east elevation.